ecologist side, is there any potential downside to the ecology itself, you know, to the river and any other area? One of the questions we get asked a lot is when you take out the carp biomass, what are all the other species going to eat? That's a really good question. Um, so car, uh, cod are probably one of the main uh, predators, if you like, of, of carp in our systems. But in actual fact, there aren't many species that rely on carp as a major food source. And that's partly because uh, in a very short space of time, a carp will reach a size beyond which no predator can, can, can eat it, really. So there's a, an enormous biomass of carp out there that is absolutely free of predation. Um, when we do take carp out of the system, uh, we need to ensure that uh, it won't impact on the, the, the food web. But there's some really interesting research that's been done in Queensland where they took six billabongs. They reduced the biomass of carp by 50% in three of them, and the other three they kept the same for comparison. What they found was when they reduced the carp biomass in those billabongs, the zooplankton, the food for all the small bodied native fish, exploded by thousands of percent. And in a very short space of time, the native fish, the small native fish, exploded in abundance by thousands of percent. And importantly, the biomass of native fish that exploded was there was more native fish in terms of response than there was the carp they took out. So basically what that means is when we take carp out of the system, there will probably be more tucker for our native fish to feed on, which is a great thing.